Hi, this is Saurchi Bawarchi. Today we are diving into the world of Bhutte ka keez, a super tasty Indian dish that gives fresh corn a magical makeover. In addition to being delicious, Bhutte ka keez is also a good source of vitamins and minerals. Corn is a good source of dietary fiber and antioxidant and it is gluten free too. If you are looking for a delicious and nutritious snack, give Bhutte ke keez a try. It is sure to become a new favorite. Start by gently pulling down the outer green husk of the corn. Once the husk are removed, you will notice thin hair like strands called silk between the kernels. To remove the silk completely, rinse the corn under the normal water. Make sure no traces of silk remain. When the corn kernels are soft and milky, your bhutte ki keez will turn out incredibly tasty and wonderfully creamy. So choose the freshest corn with those plump, juicy kernels for the most delicious results. Grate the corn and set aside. If you don't want to grate, then slice off the kernels with a sharp knife but carefully. Transfer them to a grinder jar and grind them coarsely. I have mixed both the kernels, the grated ones and the ground ones. You can choose any one method. Keep it aside and heat the pan. Add 1 tablespoon ghee. Add 1 tablespoon mustard seeds. Half tablespoon cumin seeds. After that, add 2 finely chopped green chilies and 8 to 10 curry leaves. Saute until they release their fragrant aromas. Add half teaspoon turmeric powder for that golden touch. Now add fresh milky and grated corn. Keep stirring on high flame. Let the flavors dance together for about 4 to 5 minutes. Lower the flame and sprinkle some asafoetida. Mix well and cover it and let it cook for 5-6 to six minutes on low heat. Keep stirring in between. Meanwhile, the corn is being cooked on low heat, we will grate or grind the fresh coconut. Keep it aside. Corn is cooked well, giving a nice aroma. To give a binding, we will add only 2 tablespoon roasted chickpea flour or basin, not more than that. You can see it has taken the texture like halwa. Now the milk makes its grand entrance. Pour it in half a cup or a full cup. You decide how creamy you want this bash to be. Slowly mix it all up, creating a harmony of flavors. Zest up your bhutte ki keys by throwing in a sassy half cup of grated coconut. It's the perfect crunchy twist that will have your taste buds dancing with delight. Add 1 teaspoon desi ghee to give a burst of sunshine to your dish. Then sprinkle some fresh and chopped coriander leaves. Now season it with red chilli powder and salt to taste. Now give it a good mix. Garnish with grated coconut, chopped coriander leaves and some cashew nuts. It's the ultimate garnish party. Bhutte ka keys is ready now to be enjoyed. Serve it hot as a delicious snack or a delightful side dish. Serve the creamy blend of corn and spices in every bite of this Bhutte ka keys. It's a burst of flavors that's bound to leave your craving more. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel Sawarchi Bawarchi for more delectable creations and hit that notification bell so you never miss a flavor packed episode. Whether it's a snack or a side dish, Bhutte Ka Keys is sure to be a hit at your table. 
share your bottega keys creations with us in the comments below and until next time keep cooking keep savoring and keep spreading those good vibes stay delicious and we'll catch you in the next video bye for now